everyone and once again welcome to in another episode of eclectica today and i am here again with some very interesting person in front of you all so today i have dr subhadra dravida of transel oncologics but before calling in as you know that eclectica is a uh, is a program where we are trying to bring up experts from different areas of science technology healthcare biological sciences uh, photography fashion digital platform and also entrepreneurial stories and more okay so not wasting in much time first i let me just introduce to you uh, to dr dravida so uh, she is the founder and ceo of transel biologics Transcell Biologics is a technology investing company that has a flagship next generation bio bank named Transcell BioLife and uh, this op company operates from Hyderabad and it serves India's bio banking requirements and needs Transcell BioLife envisions to be an epicenter bio bank in Asia offering transformative medicine Transcell Oncologics a subsidiary of Transcell Biologics is a biopharmaceutical discovery stage entity developing first in class biopharmaceuticals as cure options for cancers so i welcome uh, dr dravida today and uh, thank you for joining me today in this episode of eclectica thank i welcome you and thank you for joining me so uh, uh so first my first question is how are you uh, i'm i'm good and uh, in the lockdown <laughs> like everybody and uh, allow me to thank you as well uh, dr gargi for this wonderful opportunity to connect with uh, the audience whoever is watching yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, okay okay doc uh, okay dr subhadra so not wasting much time maybe i can just start bombarding the questions to you and uh, let us make our uh, conversation i i know it will be very interesting because uh, you will talk on something which generally uh, people are not much aware of and as this platform eclectica is more about public awareness and uh, as um, maybe i will just tell you about our audience also because here we will have we are having a very versatile audience uh, they are professionals they are students they are common public so i think uh, it will be a very uh, good understanding from you about the technological aspects that you are into from uh, many years of your experience so uh, uh, i would first like to know that um, well, while i'm just describing your, uh, uh, your company's profile i i would just just came across these words and then uh, it got into my mind one question is that how uh, because you know we know about uh, stem cell banks we have heard about uh, cord blood banks then uh, one question is how is transcell biolife di different from other cord bl blood banks or stem cell banks in india or asia so can you just uh, uh, put throw some light on that aspect yes uh, Transcell Biolife uh, identifies itself as a next generation bio bank, not a cord blood bank or a stem cell bank. And uh, Biolife is uh, uh, not just into storing uh, clinical grade uh, bio samples uh, uh, sourced from either donor or patient uh, but uh, uh, also is into uh, storing uh, bio samples specific clinical phenotype and uh, stem cell acquired uh, genomic data sets so uh, totally it is uh, next generation when it comes to um, utilizing the uh, uh, stored uh, bio sample derived stem cell component as well as uh, uh, the data surrounding uh, uh, the precious stem cells so Okay. that that's how like you know uh, transcell bio life is uh, different from uh, uh, any other uh, uh, cordlet bank or stem cell bank okay okay i think that's fascinating to know i mean uh, even uh, uh, i mean we didn't know some we always heard about the stem cell banks and bio banks so we had a different idea but this is fascinating from you to know so uh, i would like to definitely know that 
what is the key differentiator uh, with transcell bio life yes sir. um transcell bio life uh, 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 has uh, um, i believe it is uh, built on four uh, uh, differentiating uh, factors that uh, uh, has set uh, the very entity itself uh, aside and then uh, tall um, so the, the first differentiating factor according to me is uh, uh, the very purpose of uh, uh, the existence the second one is uh, uh, the operating mantra third one is uh, the perception which is otherwise uh, vision of the company and uh, the fourth differentiating factor is how the company positions itself uh, in terms of uh, the offerings so going back to the first differentiating factor uh, the purpose the purpose of uh, transcell bio life's uh, existence is to uh, uh, bio bank Uh, uh, for the intended uh, applications so uh, th there is a there is a meaning strong meaning behind uh, the uh, existence and then the offering from the biobank and the second uh, differentiating factor which is uh, operating mantra is uh, biolife uh, intends to lead and set a standard code of conduct in uh, biobanking practice and the third one is uh, perception which is otherwise vision as i said so the vision of uh, biolife uh, is to become an epicenter biobank offering uh, transformative medicine and the fourth one is uh, 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 positioning so uh, in when it comes to positioning transcell biolife um, uh, a presence itself as a real time biobank offering uh, um, immediate value like to the uh, client uh, otherwise like you know the stakeholder who has uh, cryo preserved uh, uh, his or her uh, precious uh, uh, stem cell units uh, with the with the company okay okay that was wonderful to know and then uh, as uh, as i understand that uh, uh, it is a very interesting way that you are taking uh, moving forward with transcell biolife so uh, can you just tell our viewers uh, about the current offerings that that we can have or we can avail with uh, transcell biolife it will be very uh, good for all of us sure yeah, yeah. thanks for asking that question um uh at present uh, 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 we have uh, two uh, uh, services uh, namely uh, cell care cell care is uh, bio bank product that is being offered as a service uh, which is all about uh, collecting uh, umbilical cord blood uh, processing uh, uh, for uh, uh, deriving uh, the uh, Uh, stem cell component from umbilical cord blood uh, acquiring the genotype information uh, from it and then uh, cryo preserving the stem cell units in the inventory uh, the second uh, uh, service is uh, tooth cell uh, tooth cell uh, is all about uh, um, uh, collecting uh, milk teeth uh, harvesting uh, pulp specific uh, stem cell component and uh, acquiring uh, genotype information surrounding uh, the mesenchymal stem cells harvested and then uh, cryo preserving the, the stem cells for uh, the intended application so when it comes to intended applications um, the uh, uh, transcell bio life process is uh, so uh, special and unique in such a way that uh, the uh, a uh, derived uh, stem cell component is not just uh, um, uh, clinically um, utilized will not be just clinically utilized but also uh, 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 will be compatible in terms of any kind of a uh, uh, drug dosing or uh, personalizing uh, prescription medicine as well so that 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 is the um, uh, fundamental philosophy uh, when it comes to the uh, uh, next generation offerings from uh, transcell biolife from its storage uh, services
Okay, I think that's fantastic. I mean, uh, that's a very good information. At least I I, I had from you, and I'm sure uh, for our viewers also. So, uh, are there any uh, additional offerings apart from cell care and tooth cell that you said? So, are there any uh, additional or immediate future offerings uh, from Transcell Biolab that you are in, uh, intending to develop? Is there something else also? Right, going to it. Uh, uh, next generation uh, uh, behavior or uh, uh, a business interest, uh, Transfer BioLife uh, has developed a uh, biobank uh, process specific uh, uh, byproduct that has the bandwidth to, to tap uh, plasma industry. And then uh, another uh, biobank uh, derived product platform to address uh, high throughput screening service to pharmaceutical research. Okay, that's fantastic to know. That's really fantastic to know. So, uh, what what are your uh, midterm plans in that way? Uh, yeah, um, uh, Transfer BioLife uh, aspires to practice uh, transformative medicine uh, uh, either through uh, participating in uh, clinical trials or uh, practicing uh, personalized medicine uh, by translating the group's uh, intellectual property in uh, regenerative medicine while at the backdrop increasing the sample inventory in the biobank. Okay, that, that, that's fantastic. Well, well, uh, well Dr. Dravida, uh, me, myself being into, uh, uh, into dentistry as a dental uh, healthcare professional, uh, I would be very much interested to know uh, something more about tooth cell because uh, I think uh, uh, if you tell us more about tooth cell product, I mean, what tooth cell is all about and uh, what, what is the, uh, what do you, propose what is the value proposition to your uh, client so i think if you just uh, give us more insight on this it will be very helpful sure sure thank you dr for asking that question um tooth cell as a service targets uh, families with kids aged between 5 and 11 years uh, tooth cell is all about again uh, collecting uh, about to fall milk teeth from the kid's mouth, uh, processing uh, uh, stem cells from uh, uh, harvested tooth pulp, acquiring uh, mesenchymal stem cell specific genomics data of the kid who is the owner of the tooth collected and analyzing uh, the sequence data, integrating specific algorithm that generates predictive health signature of the kid, and finally, cryopreserving an aliquot of uh, derived sterile stem cell unit from the same lot as a stock in uh, the biobank. So when it comes to uh, the predictive health signature report that we provide uh, uh, back as a, uh, a value addition to the uh, donor, uh, it reads, you know, the report reads genetic, epigenetic information predicting oh, oh, the position towards uh, health indications like uh, oral cancers, heart ailments, and uh, diabetes type 1 and 2 as well. So this is a, a, a very unique and a totally proprietary to Transcend BioLife's basket of offerings that is presented to the client with pride as our original research-based product. And in fact, uh, global literature research shows evidence of oral genomics giving hints with the predictive biomarkers associating cancers, uh, cardiac ailments, uh, uh, and certain lifestyle uh, diseases also. So uh, in a nutshell, we believe that it is a great product from Transcell BioLife, uh, helping the client in precisely uh, two ways. The first one is providing them an opportunity to rectify or maintain a particular lifestyle to prevent or postpone the symptoms of the diseases that they are predisposed to by virtue of their genetic constitution, which is best read from their own stem cells. And the second value proposition is the tooth stem cells collected 
without causing any pain to the kid and cryo preserved for any future requirement of the family as the field of regenerative dentistry which is your uh, field and then uh, regenerative medicine evolves and develops okay i mean i mean that's a fantastic thing which which we learned from you today because i think um, uh, you are taking things towards uh, if i just uh, put it that way maybe what we called as personalized medicine uh, rather to be more specific as personalized dentistry uh, with with the particularly the two cell product if i am not wrong so uh, uh, right. so right. yeah so that was wonderful and wonderful to know about uh, the offerings from uh, transcell biologics uh, as well as about the uh, particularly uh, tooth cell uh, has uh, you know put a very good uh, i mean it has motivated us uh, uh, much and not only that all the other uh, things that you have shared with us was really really uh, helpful and thank you once again for uh, coming in and uh, speaking here at the platform of eclectica and i hope in future we will have more and more sessions uh, with you and learn more from you thank you so much thank you dr gandhi uh, for this opportunity in particular and uh, for sure like you know i mean i will be uh, inspired also motivated to participate in the future sessions thank you thank you dr dravida well so now you uh, know how, where science is moving so when we talk about dentistry when we talk about a tooth when we talk about stem cells it's not, uh, and it's not only about taking out stem cells from tooth and storing it but you can now predict different uh, diseases like as dr dravida said uh, in her uh, session and i think that was fascinating uh, session from her so with that i will take a leave from you today from eclectica but you have to again come back with in my next episode where i will bring another fascinating person just like today from a different area of expertise with some different news so till then bye bye